Hi, my name is Shivali Patel, and this is my home. So a little bit about myself is I'm 19 years old and I go to NC State University. I plan to double major communication, mass media, and psychology with a minor in biology. Reason is I do plan to go to med school in the future and become a psychiatrist, but until then, in my spare time, I like to dance, sing, play the piano, read books, go biking, uh, really do anything new, and have a great time. Most of all, I love to volunteer. I started volunteering when I was 13 years old, and my very first place was a retirement home, Glen Eyre. But after that, I've gone on and volunteered at different nursing homes, and in fact, my platform is based off of that. So my beauty with the Purpose Project is bonds between generations. Bonds Between Generations is actually a project I started back in 2010. It strives to bring the generational gap between the senior living community and Generation Z, my age group, to an extinction. How? Talent shows. I decided to start organizing talent shows by partnering with key clubbers across the county for these beautiful people. Because there are 17,000 nursing homes in the U.S., that's 1.6 million patients. And of these 1.6 million patients, 33% of patients present symptoms of depression, while 40% some level of dementia. Unfortunately, by 2030, this number has been predicted to rise to 3 million. Consequently, I think the talent shows I have organized and continue to organize hold an incredible impact for these senior citizens who crave connection because those who lack visitors or hope can find a little portal to escape into for a little while where they can unlock parts of their life that may seem to be slipping away. For example, someone with severe Alzheimer's may open up their hearts to someone of my age or younger performing and remember what it was like to be a parent or to be a child. Someone who does not have many visitors may receive a hug and they may feel loved again. And that is huge. It changes them. The intergenerational um, connection was very, very important to these older people because it was just such a highlight. And they would go from being a very, you know, having a very flat affect of expression to so much exuberance just by seeing the young people come in. As far as the individuals who perform in the show goes, the kids can take a lot away from this too. And I speak firsthand because it was volunteering with these individuals that forever changed me. I credit who I am to these interactions and beautiful friendships I made with these elderly people. I learned the importance of listening and how fun it could be to get history lessons firsthand. It's really important for teenagers especially to have a lot of contact with senior citizens because they can talk about many things that teenagers just hear about, about not just specific events, but just about life in general. I learned humanness. Everyone ages. I understood growing old did not mean being any less fun or being different. We need to, as a culture, see that the intergenerational communication is, is core and key to uh, being able to really um, be whole as a community. We're very disconnected. Um, and so, you know, I think in the future, I, if, if we're going to be whole as a people, we need to have all generations connecting with each other because they, the young people will not grow up being afraid of old people and um, the old people won't be ashamed of being old and there'll be a lot more um, happiness and it'll be, you know, very healing. So although these adults are at the end of their life cycles and are out of sight, they shouldn't be out of mind. As of right now, I'm trying to make an impact locally. But if I were to be crowned the next Miss World America, I would love to take my project and spread it across the country and help in creating healthier nursing homes and mending the existing intergenerational gap. But not just that, I would be open to grab any opportunity to help our nation.